Hi there, I just wanted to do a quick video to introduce a couple of linear rails I'm thinking of using on a 3D printer and uh, what I haven't been able to find is a comparison between the high quality Highwind linear rails um, that come with uh, for example uh, etched um, rails and when this focuses you'll be able to see Okay, so you can see the etching on the rails there, and you get a nice carriage. Comes in its own separate pack in there, and you can see it's got its own etching on that as well. And I wanted to compare that to this kind of thing, which is a, uh, a Chinese uh, clone. Um, from a company called Robot Dig, and they say this is their high quality stainless steel uh, version. Now, what I've gone for is the 9mm version, and I've gone for the, the longer carriages as well, because I think that's going to give me um, better stability um, during changes of direction. Now, they say it's stainless, and both of these are supposed to have stainless rails, um, but both of them are magnetic. There's, there's a little neodymium magnet and that attaches to both. So if you get the robot dig one and you think, hang on, it's not stainless because it's got a uh, magnet is able to stick to it, well, that's also the case for the high wind version. So turning, turning first to the high wind uh, rails, um, it comes in this uh, little um, packet with the high wind uh, tear off seal on the top, and then we get the uh, the carriage itself is on a little plastic um, bearing keeper. So to put it on to the rail, you have to line up the bearing keeper and with the rail, and then gently slide your carriage onto the rail. Now, when I first bought this and put this on, I found that there was some um, some friction problems with this. Um, I went back to the seller and uh, I'll put a link down in the, in the description below and they said well try some oil, I've done that and actually I don't know whether it was the oil or whether it was uh, just um, giving it a bit of a run in and lots of um, motion backwards and forwards and it seems to have settled itself now. So I'm quite happy with that, it's very smooth. Um, it, it actually feels, although I can't uh, feel any play in by hand, it actually feels almost loose. When you get it also, um, bear in mind that there's nothing, I've got two um, M3 uh, bolts in the end here, but there's nothing to prevent the, um, the carriage from coming off, so you've got to be really careful that it doesn't just fly off. Whereas turning to the, uh, to the Robot Dig high quality stainless steel version, um, you do get these clips at the end, um, it comes with the, uh, with the carriage already on it, and, uh, and they haven't scrimped on packaging either. That, that was a, um, not vacuum wrapped, but certainly well sealed uh, unit that comes from them. And, um, and they use decent packing as well with a nice um, sort of stiff cardboard tube to protect it. In terms of um, dimensional similarities, the spacing on the, um, on, off, on the centers um, for these, so let's just do edge to edge, um, it appears to be the same. Now I haven't um, tried it with anything more accurate than just doing a, an eye edge to edge, but as you can see, these um, these look like the carriages are meant to accept the same bolt spacing parts. And again, if you look on the length of the carriage, they're designed to be the same. I think we'll see about less than half a millimetre difference there. In terms of the seals, um, one thing that I've seen online is that people say with the, the true um, high wind stuff you get a decent um, rubber seal on the end here. Well, I have to say that these robot dig ones also come with a soft rubbery material on, on the end, uh, uh, end, end seals there. Now I'm not turning them over. Let's have a look at the uh, the bearings, if we can get the focus right and the lighting right. You can see in by eye, I'm not sure it shows up on this video, uh, the, ball, the steel ball bearings um, inside and you can see the way they run. 
and it's the same on the high wind. Again, you've got some engraving on the on the base of the carriage. Again, I'm not sure if you can see the bearings on that. The uh, the robot dig carriage is a little tighter feeling. It didn't come with that initial lumpiness of stiction. Uh, however, even after a few rapid runs up and down, it hasn't hasn't loosened off and doesn't quite have the same freewheeling uh, feel to it that the high wind does. Now, again, on the tilt test, you can see you don't have to raise the angle too high on the high wind for under its own own weight, overcoming stiction and friction and sliding to the other end. You have to go quite a bit steeper, and even then, let's get it started. Yeah, then it goes. So it's the stiction really on the uh, on the robot dig version to start with, but uh, none of this really tells us a huge amount about how well these are going to perform in a dynamic dynamic loading scenario, um, because. What my fingers won't be able to tell is the kind of um, deflections that um, it's these these carriages and rails are going to uh, show under un, under changes of direction of the 3D printer. I've got a Core XY in mind, and uh, this high one is destined to be the uh, the X gantry rail, and I'm going to have two of these for the the Y axis uh, rails. In terms of rail dimensions. They're broadly comparable, although I haven't tried sticking each other's carriage on each other's rail. But there is about a half mil increase in height on the high wind. Um, and that's the only dimensional difference that I can tell from a quick look at them. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to try and do some tests to um, work out what kind of... Um, deflections will get under loads and I'm going to use some static experiments to do that rather than dynamic ones to start with before attaching it to the printer uh, just to see whether there's anything noticeable and also might see if we can uh, check out whether the, um, the friction is noticeably different um, from a little test but the main bit is to try and see whether some talking in that kind of direction uh, is going to end up with some significant deflections which might mess up the, um, the, the finish on a 3D print.